Shades, the great host show the way and the cover over here with an episode of Rain Code. Where we're gonna get out of here. Well, I guess we're that dead. should do it for the investigation. Taking a look around, there aren't any hidden exits or hiding spots. Yep. <sighs> yeah. The only entrance and exit is that door. There isn't even a single window. There's a small vent, but it's not big enough to fit through. And the cover is fixed right. in place. Mm -hmm. There are no suspicious spots on the walls, floor, or ceiling. And no secret passages either. Oh, we didn't look in his bathroom. Like, even though we could walk the doors, we did not look in that room at all. So there could have been something in there, technically. And even if you got through the door, there's the dangerous security system. Yeah. So how did the culprit manage to enter the lab? It's the perfect impossible crime! I like how she's I like how she says that it's when I literally so know like probably 80% of what happened here. Like how right. he got in, he probably just like was a guy from the work and just asked to come in and came in, stabbed, went in the vent, waited until everyone ran by and left. Like, like, I think, I feel I have, like, 80% of the puzzle already solved, and she's like, oh, man, the yeah. impossible crime. <laughs> Even if it's impossible, I right. have to solve she it. Sounds so happy for the chief's sake, like, and what everyone it is else. Not. Yeah. For now, let's well, she's so stupid, security. I don't think she would, like, need to tell start building up theories. No. Unlike me, no. who I'm actually trying to call. Like, I'm trying, like, I want to make, I would, because I know a channel. Who, who does who plays mystery games and I love it when they make up theories and it comes and it pops off. It's just like, oh my right. god, he called it. Like I love that Those shit. Those are fun. So I so I try I try to do it as far, as early as I can. Whenever whenever I see the all the pieces, whenever I see the pieces, I'm like, okay, wait. Personally, <laughs> I want you to gain the willpower to solve it on your own. Okay. But yeah, that that's the main reason why I'm I'm so theory focused is just because I love those moments in other channels. Really so I just try I try to just like oh my god yes resemble it myself. The satisfaction is yeah. Like, I have to admit it is quite it is quite it's definitely there when it pops off. It is some would say satisfactory. Yeah, Vivia. Yeah, why is this surprising? He can do it too. Hmm. What's the matter, Vivia? Why well, are you in your ghost form? He did kill us, technically. <laughs> like we are in a, technically in a dead. Very weird sense, <laughs> I mean, kind of. Yeah, he got us killed. I was wondering how your investigation was going. I grew curious. Seriously, I can't believe it. Did you come to help? I didn't expect your cooperation. <sighs> Still, thank you. It's very reassuring. Wait, Master. You shouldn't trust him. He's plotting something. <laughs> I mean, isn't everyone at some points? Like, everyone's everyone's thinking of something. Well, I guess that's not true. Some people are so sm uh, small-minded, they just are doing small talk. They just go with... But there is, yeah. They, yeah. they don't dive into things. They just take them at face value. Yeah. But then again, I, I mean, I don't know why we would distrust him. Like, yeah, he seems to know about you, but at the same time, like, he's not exactly fighting us, and he doesn't seem to be violent towards us. What could he be plotting? Right. Aren't you overthinking really things? Bad. I just realized, I like how we have both times, we've defended both the... Uh, the main CEO of the company, and now we have to defend our own teammate. I always feel like we're the bad guy here. <laughs> yeah, we, we are. We're just like, ah, listen, what's the problem? I don't mind if he has a knife, as long as that knife is in my body before I end my conversation. Wait, why do I feel cold? <laughs> so, what will you do now? Are you still going to pursue the truth? Well, we're not being unreasonable. We're just saying that you should just be immediately saying he's a bad guy. Be 
because of like other right. like other things, you know. If he doesn't have any, if he doesn't serve like seem like a threat, you know. I don't know if you should really assume. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't trust him. Huh? Why wouldn't I? I finished investigating the crime scene, so I was about to head back and report to everyone. We need to find the truth. Otherwise, the chief won't get treated, and everyone will be captured. I feel... Um, I actually, see. I'm gonna stop talking about the chief, because so every time be I go into that, it, like, takes, like, two truth. minutes. Absolutely. It's way too long. Master, watch out! He's plotting something! Tell me, Yuma. Why do you seek the truth? Huh? We have to find the truth to fight the peacekeepers. Well, the truth is like cracks in a mirror. They're all so small, you must squint to see each tiny crack. Most wouldn't even notice them. They think the world reflected in the mirror is reality itself. Honestly, I, I kind of see that, yeah. Yeah, you know? If you did notice the cracks, would you destroy the mirror to reveal what the real world actually looks like? Even if the moment the mirror is destroyed, it changes the world people can see forever. Interesting. Very interesting. Cause, I mean, I guess. Like, it sounds, to me, it makes you think of like, it sounds like a trick question because on the one hand, if you're, if you're, like, a super thing about truth, then you would obviously say yes, but what if you inadvertently cause, like, a bunch of harm or whatever, you know? Like, what if you cause a mass depression? Like, like it's um, one of those things where I feel like either way you answer him, he's, he's gonna it's say to deal something. With reality than live in ignorance. What, Even what are you talking about? And if shattering the mirror reveals nothing but darkness and chaos. Even then, would you still seek the truth? I don't know what will happen when the truth is exposed. But right now, we need the truth to save Chief Yako and everyone from the agency. That is, that he is coping so hard because that is a complete lie. <laughs> like, I have to spend an hour finding clues. Even if he dies out from blood loss, I, it will, it will, I have to do this to save him. <laughs> um, Everyone right. It's, it's, you, no. of course. you know what they should do, right? They should let them confiscate him. Like, 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 detain him. Because then they more likely would give him some medical things so they could interrogate him. And then you could guys could save him at a later date. Like, hello is strong. And you guys easily can gather information when it comes to, like, where he's located, so, you know, I feel like that would be better, like, let him get detained and have them give him medical aid while you guys work on the case. <laughs> I just want to help others. Are you saying that's wrong? I guess it's assuming that they would give medical aid and they would want to, ter to um, help interrogate him. Right. Because they know it. Well, as you know, it's, it, it, be, it would depend on if they would want to know more. Because Hell's Mom probably is just like, I don't care to know more. You know, he's like, I know right. you guys are the bad guys. And that's the end line. But if it was someone who was a bit more intelligent and was like, we could use him for information. Like, where's their base? And, you know, how many of them are there? You know? Because <laughs> for all they know, there could be 20 of us. Like, sure, they've only seen, like, five, I think, five of us or six. But, like, there technically could be more in the wings. And for that, right. what will you sacrifice? How much have you already Do sacrificed? Do they know how many detectives there are? Like, I don't think, general? I mean, they have seen us all in one location, but... Right, like, but they, do they have reason to suspect that that's all of us? Is the question, really. No, besides presumption. Like, the exactly. only reason you would say that that, that was all the detectives is if you either... Them. Is if you're careless and you don't If care you to assume, more. yeah. And right. the only reason we say it is because we do know. Um, but even then, that's not... Even then, they take... WDO could send more troops. Like, they that's clearly sent true. multiple people before. Sure, this last attempt really backfired. But then again, you know, that's called just sending in more, like, armed seasoned fighters or something, you know? Like, send in some military experts. Huh? Give 
him a guard. Like, they make good money. You tell me they can't pay for a guard? Although, I guess Kodama Trotsu pay more than in that question. Maybe. It's in, uh, uh, maybe. I bet you're the type who's willing to sacrifice yourself for the truth. Eh, probably you is pretty stupid. Hey, there's some blood yeah. on the rails. Let me go check it out. Meow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One day, it will ruin you. You will. Uh, I'm okay with that. Destroy the world for truth's sake. Me? Destroy the world? That's impossible. No. You've already stepped one foot into ruin. In fact, it's already up to your neck. If possible, I'd like to help you. You are... a dear friend to me. For some of you, that is a choker, and that's my girlfriend's choker, okay? See, she's right there. I, I mean, I don't know if you actually can see her, but you, you seem to be... You seem to keep being able to see her. I... I, I also don't think he does see her. It's very... I or maybe he's just making an, an effort not to look at her, right? Like, to make he us... Just doesn't, he just doesn't care. I mean, he's maybe, like, yeah. yeah. How about it? It's not too late. Why not turn Imagine back she just from pulls out path. a Bible. <laughs> it's not too you late. You can accept our father and let him crash. Peacekeepers? That doesn't solve anything. I don't understand what you're saying, Vivia. Uh, never mind. We need to report what I discovered to the others. Because <laughs> you're dumb, Yuma. Yeah, you're pretty small. That's pretty narrow-minded. Like, you don't think being captured is a way to move forward? That, like, I'm not even... Like, that's not even being sarcastic. No, like, if you think I logically do being captured like that, but doesn't mean that time. they're actually gonna withhold you and detain you. Like, Hilara could probably break out easily. And I mean, to be fair, that is true. But Like, at the same like you time. have... You literally have some decent... Com well, not you, but, like... You have someone There's... on your team with decent combat experience, and someone with time travel powers who could be like, Hilara, on your right, you know? Like, if she was smart enough, you know, if she was able to right. say commands, but, like, you know, you actually have a decent chance of winning a fight <laughs> after being captured. <sighs> so you refuse We to also understand. saw she dodged bullets last time. You a few days, and it was, like, nice. last time, I think, or the time before. Where she was at, yeah, it was did. the time before, she, well, as you know, they were shooting, like, below her and aiming up, like, an action movie, which is so stupid, like, who starts firing before they're aiming at their target, like, they're like, okay, well, I'm about to be there, let me start pulling the trigger, and shoots the floor, like, like, are you, are you trying to ricochet, like, that's a thing, but also, that's a really a movie thing, guy, <laughs> Fucking, wasn't uh, the, uh, weren't they distracted and that's why they shot the floor or something? I no, like well, no, they were right in front of them, and Hellspawn said, shoot him! And they were, and after, after Hilaro was like, you should return that penny. And they I just dodged to the left and right, and the, and he, they I were don't shooting forward. Totally remember. I remember they were, like, them shooting. being on a rock and being surrounded and then being shot at. And Vivian ah, saved the day? This guy is nuts. Wait. Okay. Wait, is the blade also a ghost? Or is he yeah, saying... Yeah, I was about to say, is that a ghost blade? Or is that, like, only... Because if it's not a ghost... Because here's the thing, if it's not a ghost blade, does that mean he's saying... Could it I, actually affect us? Well, if it's a... If, if the ghost thing is completely mental, you could technically hold objects as long as you said, my hand can hold knife, you know? Like, if, you, right. if you're really mental about it, it's really easy to do if it's, if it's just about your mentality. But also, if it's a ghost knife... Is that gonna actually hurt me? Because I it's a ghost usually knife? keep this in my pocket. It's not real. Like the ghost form, it's just a reflection of reality. Okay, so it is a ghost knife. So, slashing at you won't do anything. But, I warned you, didn't I? While you're in ghost form, your physical body is vulnerable. Y you mean... I was simply returned to my body five seconds before you do, and then I'll slice your throat open. Given I am more familiar with spectral projection, I'm positive I can return to my body before you can. Well, will you give up now? Uh, are you threatening me? Yeah, no, no, this yeah, that's yeah. a threat. You look good, job. 
The truth you wish to expose is dangerous. I wonder if he's in on the Amaterasu thing. Because, like, because be. we, we are expecting a betrayal from WDO. And we expect it would be it's number one because then, right. it was the least person we had the least information and, you know, the least. We don't know their movement, so they could be technically anywhere, right? We don't know right. that their that video could have been taken from inside kind of order outside. Um, but, um, but also, uh, it could be him. It, I mean, there's no reason to directly assume it because he doesn't have really, he doesn't seem to have any connection and hasn't to really said anything about Amaterasu, but right. that is just called covering your ass and not talking about your friends. Right, <laughs> like, not talking about your, sense. you know, betrayal job yeah. that you just, yeah. Like... Yeah, it's just common sense, like, hey, wait, what the... Oh, the race center window is apparently dead. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, cancel. Uh, oh, you. I don't think it's that, but let me check. Okay, we will be right back. And we're back. I have a feeling. Actually, how are we doing on time for this video? A feeling that our peace and quiet be pulled right out from under our feet. If you right. won't stop, then I must stop you. For this world's sake. For the sake of peace and quiet. You're not making any sense. You're gonna kill me because of a feeling? I mean, it's for his ideal world, so I mean... Yeah, in a sense... world where quiet is quiet and people don't solve mysteries, I guess. Yeah. Or more like, what I'm guessing is right, is that he might not be affiliated at all, but he expects that once the, the, the Kane War Seeker is going to be revealed, it's going to reveal like an Eldritch Demon, and the whole world's going to be in Armageddon. You know? And he's going to be like, God right, damn it, this like is that. a peace and quiet, and so he's just trying to nip in the bud before we even get to that point. I don't want it to end this way. I thought we could talk it out. That's why I came here. But you refuse to give up, which leaves me with no choice. So it looks like this is what I must do. Farewell. Hey, Yuma, I would start Yuma. running. Because you yeah, know he's about to kill you. Yuma, fucking, what, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, you two. Quit fighting. Oh, okay. This is gonna be interesting. Who is that? I wonder. It sounds like Yako. Yeah, the truth is cruel. Never in history has the truth been known to be kind. That voice? Chief Yako? Yeah, he's dead. And Wacko is not, too. <laughs> but you know what? Turning your eyes away from the truth... And living a lie is harsh, too. In the end, True. you can never look away from the truth. As long as you live, you must face that pain. So really, what's the point of worrying so much about it? When you're lost, believe in your own heart. That way, even if things end up all wrong, at least you can stand proud. Chief Yako, are you alright? Where are you? I wonder where. Oh my fucking god. Impossible. You dumbass. There's no way he could have made it here with those wounds. What do you- how, wait, how do you shoot him, Vivia? But, like, I, I mean, yeah, we have the body, but how would you know if he could have- Like, that was a lot of blood. Are you saying that right. he couldn't have died by a stab wound? That's- I have mean, you not heard of- like I don't know, Jack level the Ripper? Did you have to be? It's just like a specific level of dead you're allowed to be to enter this then specific realm voice. or something. Perhaps it was his soul's voice as it separated from his body. That means... No way. Is he dead? I don't know. We need to find out. He actually seems genuinely concerned. He tried to kill me. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, because you're gonna fuck up his, uh, 4K plan? 
You're right. Chief Yaku is the main concern right now. Not whatever's going on with Vivia. It appears his soul hasn't been severed yet. It's mm -hmm. still connected to his body. Oh, okay. But the line is very thin. It could cut away any moment now. Mm. Why did we hear Chief Yako's voice back there? I don't know. It seems there are many more mysterious things in this world that I don't know about. I mean, how many times have you talked to dead people? Like, do you know the range of their right. voice, you know? Like, what if they're still connected to their body and, they're like, and they have, like, a microphone and it's, like, super mega loud so you can hear from, like, a 50-meter radius, you know? Well, since he went through the trouble of risking his life to give us a lecture, I will sheath my blade. When you're lost, you should believe in your own heart. Well, technically, we could we could, we sh could have just jumped into our own body and just beat him to the punch. Technically, you're right. Get his knife out of his pocket and slit, slit his throat. Well, I was just mean getting up, but I I guess that is what beating him to the punch would mean. But solving right. this case is top priority. This is the only way to save Chief Yako and everyone else. Hmm. No. Fine. You can report to them once you return to your body. I have somewhere else to go. Oh. Where are you going? After hearing the chief's words, I just remembered. There's something I need to do. What's that? I have a premonition. Oh, he is fortune telling. Oh my god, wow. I sense that our peace and quiet will crumble away. But perhaps okay. something entirely new lies beyond that destruction. In order to discover what that may be, I want to continue my investigation for a bit more. I love his smiling. He has, like, the cutest fucking face when he smiles. Oh my god. It's not that I want the truth. I need to find an answer I can agree to with confidence. I still don't I understand most of what you say, but now I know you feel the same way about this. Kind of thing from what it sounds like, but sure. Let's investigate this together. As you wish. Master, don't trust this guy. You can't erase the fact that he flashed a blade at you. Yeah. I know. I'm not that naive. You really? Sure that? After all, you're always so trusting and relying on others. Well, using others isn't a we isn't a complete weakness as long as you, you know you keep it in mind and you keep yourself right. in check. But also, trusting others is also another thing that if you keep in check isn't the worst thing. Like you could trust someone up until a certain extent. Like, oh hey, you flash a blade at me. You know your powerful your power is pretty useful. But let me talk to hell Laura about, you know, watching our bodies and making sure that you don't pull a knife out near my body, you know? Right. <laughs> I still have a bad feeling like, about let's this. Make sure that you that don't is come dangerous. Really? I want to believe I don't that feel that at all. I feel right like you're I mean, safe. dangerous is such a vague word that technically it's true. He has a knife and that ma makes him technically a threat level, but also being threatening way, doesn't yeah. mean that you're bad or anything, you know? Okay, if you're, wait, so am I leaving? If someone, that would probably mean you are bad. That's, I feel like that's different from a threat. I don't actually know where I'm going. Um, because they don't have a marker anywhere. Am I following him? Sure. I don't see why not. Maybe you 
should wait to go until after you report back to the others. Oh, okay. If people go alone now, I get the sense we'll never come to an understanding. Oh, okay, so I went the right direction unintentionally, accidentally. Okay. Right, of course. I'm sure Vivia has seen something. That's why he's afraid of the truth. I also want to see what he sees. It may help me understand better. Are you all right? Imagine, Did his imagine we just like talking infect you. I hope this isn't a side effect of your coalescence. Imagine we just go to like we look at him and he just his eyes are just rolled back and he's like, just watching the premonition over and over again. <laughs> right. Uh, he's studying. I said I'd continue good. the investigation, but where do I begin? Huh? I thought you already had a plan. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure where you would go from here, because you kind of checked the crime scene, you know, you, I mean, like, we could look around, but, you know, I'm not 100% sure where you would go either. Nope. You don't, huh? If you have any expectations for my actions, then you're in for a disappointment. I'm good at avoiding trouble, but I'm terrible at handling. I try to stay still and just let things pass. That's the kind of human I am. That's because I see. special so you protection have allows spy. you to investigate without moving an inch. So, what have you learned about Dr. Huesca's death? Um, well, I gathered some clues, but I still have no idea how the culprit entered the area. There are only two reasons a mystery goes unsolved. Either there's not enough information, or not enough smarts. It's definitely the latter. You miss a dumb shit. There's no point yeah. in crying over the latter. But in this situation, there's also Which a little means, bit of lack of uh, There's only one the thing we can Maybe do. Maybe some in general, but we'll have to go back and look. Should we search the scene one last time? No. The missing piece might not always be at the crime scene. True. It could have been launched far away, like pieces of shattered glass. <laughs> so you're saying we should check somewhere else? Yeah. Yeah, Yuma. I don't know. It's not like we're in a, a, in a, a quartered off a lab that's only so big, you know? We can't look everywhere. I'll let you be our guide here. But I'd like to request minimal movement, <laughs> the shortest possible distance. Hey, Master, are you sure there could be another key to the mystery somewhere else? <sighs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Shinigami is kind of becoming annoying. It's like, like, yeah. you know, like, oh, don't trust this guy and all this. It's like, you could say that once, we get it, he's shady. No, not gonna say he isn't shady, but also, yeah. But in the other thing of being dismissive, there could be another clue. Like, why the fuck not? Like, it couldn't hurt. Like, there's no reason. Like, there is no reason to go into Mr. Labyrinth right now. Because Yuma can't figure it out. Like, no one has a clue as to what this could do, so why would we go right now? We did finish investigating the actual crime scene, so it could be a good idea to search elsewhere. We can use spectral projection to enter anywhere. I guess it's not. It's, it's less than it's annoying, and it's just more kind of dumb and close minded is all. Because, like, she doesn't annoy me overall. It's just very short minded to be, like, uh, to be close minded to be like, oh man, we looked at the crime scene, though. There was nothing else there. It's like, mm hmm. Hey, where else could we look? You know? <laughs> it's like talking to, like, a toddler about trying to look right. in around. We don't have much time. We have to check the rooms we can access. We have to it's check the rooms we have access to. We have access to and there's like four rooms. This is the central lab. The central lab is just some clues here, I'm sure. cylinders are lined up the pipes stretch out of this of the room i don't think we'll find any clues here we should try somewhere else fine i guess 
Like, can we go in there? We can go in here. Hey, is it true that Dr. Wesco was killed? Yes, that is a true fact. But that's also the end of the episode. If you enjoyed this video, do the sign on the top screen. If you have any questions, send them in the comments below or Discord server. There'll be a link in the description and our box section. I mean, it's in the same two places as they're so shaded. On the left is a recommendation from YouTube, and the right is the series Raincoat in its entirety. We'll see you next time. Fellow Shades.